Amen. Don't get in your car. Ain't nobody that's for you gonna try to stop you. They're going to encourage you. They're going to reveal to you secrets that they know, things and strategies of how you can be better and how you can do better. They'll reveal that stuff to you. Yeah. If they really for you, they ain't going to hold back stuff from you. They ain't going to not teach you certain things because they don't want you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They don't want you to excel. <laughs> Do you really know what you need? Lord, show me that when I read it. I said, what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did. I want to sit right there in my office. I said, what? I knew when I pulled up, back my car in in that alley, I started getting nervous. I can always tell when it's going to be something. Who he finna do something? I still get a nervous feeling, you know. Preaching doesn't bother me, and I'm not nervous to preach or what have you, but I get this, I know when he finna really just like ram shack, finna do something. And all I get him pull up out there, and I get this nervous feeling. And I'm saying, good God almighty, man. What in the world? Okay, God, what what what, what is this? What, what what's going on? What's What's going to happen then? At 10.52, I look at the computer. And let's go to Acts chapter 3. That's okay. Let's go to Acts chapter 3. And in just a few minutes, the Lord shows me this. In just a few minutes. But see, this is the thing that I've learned about preaching. This is why I, I, I have learned that it doesn't take a whole lot of time. Right. Two weeks of study, all that kind of stuff. If any studying that goes on, that is just for information purposes, for you to be able to, to learn more, nothing against the people that do that, you know, uh, to learn more. But this is what I have learned about preaching and, and how God has done it through me. It's nothing except for what needs to be woke up in you. It's already there. So he has to attach something to it and wake that up in me. And that's why it becomes a revelation. Revelation is nothing but me awakening what's already there. That's all revelation is. It's the awakening of what's under the key, Satan. All it is is the awakening of what's already there. And see, the thing of it is, is you pretty much already know. Because I guarantee you, everything that I said to you now, how many of y'all will be honest and willing to admit, you know, you saying, I don't call you. This doesn't reveal something to me. See? You see, it does show me even whether it showed you somebody in your life there you go. or what have you. If it showed you somebody that was crippling you for real and you thought that they was oh, they, they was good, that they was fine because they was carrying you to the temple. But you didn't realize that they was carrying you to the temple in order for you to be picked at, in order for you to sit there and beg. They never in their mind thought that you would encounter the right people and that the right, I dare feed get in your car and go home, girl. They didn't think that you would encounter the right folk. Lord, help me please. They didn't think that that day. They didn't realize, see, they thought that it was just going to stop at them. They didn't realize you were going to get an inside scoop. Lord, have mercy. They didn't realize that somebody was going to watch you and see you. Lord Jesus Christ and take a liking to you because of how they see you operate and then decide that they want to be a blessing to you call you out of it oh God because that's what happened to this man he got called out of a condition now somebody pray for me he got called out of a condition that he had been in for the longest so what I'm saying to you is is regardless of how your life has 
spreading. Uh, please hear me, y'all. It don't have to stay like that. You mess around yeah, and get with the right people. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care what my mama them was. I don't care what I don't care what my daddy them was. Now you're looking at a millionaire right here, baby. And you can't attach million to none of my family's name. But why you attach it to Delphine's? Uh -huh. It don't matter, see? Yes, It don't matter. But as long as I will stay there, based off of them crippling me. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. mm. Shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just need my right people. I just need my right connection. Mm -hmm. You better pay attention to who coming into your life. You hear me? This is confirmation for me. I receive it. Apostle, I heard you. She's been telling me for the last six months or more, dear mm -hmm. There's going to be some new connections come my way. New connection. New connections. And every time I call her and tell her about somebody I met, she said, yeah. There go a new connection. There go a new connection. Because, see, you're now finna have to get away from the people that just carried you to the gate. You about to encounter some folk that gonna give you what you need. Yeah. Yeah. They gonna give you what you need. Oh, and they giving you what you need your whole life. Y'all don't <laughs> share what I'm saying to you, do you? Y'all don't hear what I'm saying to you, do you? Your whole life gonna change. Yes, it is. That man's whole life changed. That man went from a position of being controlled and being held back because in every bit of that I'm going to show y'all some points that I gave me in that he was being controlled one because he couldn't do nothing unless they control. cared he was being controlled and he was being held back Yes. and the thing of it is is because that's exactly what it was sabotage we still dealing with sabotage now last year I said, I think it was last year, when we was up, we was praying, and we was up here at the altar, and I, I can specifically remember saying, I said to, I said to Andy, I said, listen, the Lord wants to use you, and you're going to have to prophetically speak some things, even all the way out to 2021, mm -hmm. you need to speak some things yeah. into existence, and the Lord yeah. is going to yeah. allow your words to be in existence, well, we are here right now in December of 2021. 2020 and check this out somewhere in the earlier part of this year or either last year and she kept bothering me about the word sabotage. When I say kept in behind me, I'm keeping being sabotage, cool, cool, I'm keeping being sabotage, I'm keeping being sabotage, so bad. sabotage, sabotage. All of a sudden, now we're at sabotage. Mm -hmm. See, prophetically, you'll walk into the promises that God has if you will listen. See, the prophetic is going to always go ahead to clear the pathway. Yes. So now here at Pastor is teaching and telling y'all about the sabotage because it's trying to destroy it's getting busted on every corner I just busted it yeah I busted it man that joke man that joke don't fool you don't know me I be ready I be ready man I ain't done I be I be won't be coming at me please come Cause I see you. I see you. I know what you're doing. I see you. I'm telling you. I see you. I know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I see them hidden agendas. Them ulterior motives. That are not pure. I see it. See, anytime... The Lord start exposing someone to you. Mm -hmm. You better pay attention. Yeah. You better pay attention. Mm -hmm. It's a prelude, a pre-warning to you about what's going to happen. 
And so what he's doing is, is trying to give you a way of it. But we'll take on this mentality that I got to stay here or I got to try to fix this. So I you, you no, 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 no. You cannot stop what God has cursed. You can try to bless it all you want. But if it's cursed, it's cursed. Point blank. I don't care how much you love it, how much you want to see it fit. If he done cursed it, it's cursed. Hmm. Just like if he done blessed it, it's blessed. Right. Yeah. It ain't nothing can be done about it. Yes, God. Thank you, Lord. Nothing. Amen. But we'll be of a mentality of trying to play God in stuff. Mm -hmm. And I'll mess around and end up with the short end of the stick. We will. Mm -hmm. Trying to play God in something. Mm -hmm. Trying to spare somebody. I can't lose me trying to save you, baby. Amen. Amen. Huh? What good is it for me to see you in heaven and I'm in hell? Mm -hmm. What? I don't know that kind of business. Huh? I don't know that kind of business. I'm serious. I can tell my mama why. I see you later, Miss Alice. I mean, I thank God for you while you're here. Uh -huh. You want to go to hell by yourself. I won't go with you. See? I can't lose. Me. I'm trying to say you. You got to understand that salvation is only your responsibility. You cannot decide salvation for nobody else. Let me pull it out the scripture in Acts 3 and show it to y'all. They took him to the gate, right? Mm -hmm. But they couldn't decide his fate, could they? No. <laughs> they had no control of that, over that fate. Fate hit when Peter them showed up mm -hmm. and he asked the right people for something. Right. See, they had no control over the fate because everybody's got to stand for themselves. Mm -hmm. So all they could, they could carry him, but they couldn't make the decision for him. See, the problem with us is, is we try to make the decision for people. You can't make the decision for folk. If they choose that, then by George, they have just Chosen them. Same thing with the Bible. If them, them folk gave me information, that girl wrote on that post and said, You strong. You can be it. You can be delivered. What the pastor wrote it right back on the public on there and said, I ain't, I ain't ready. ready. <laughs> you see? You got okay then. She want to save me. Mm -hmm. But I got to be ready. Amen. So don't lose yourself. Trying to save somebody else. Jesus Christ is the savior of the world and he didn't lose himself doing it. But we will lose ourselves trying to save folks. We will. We will do it. No, let the savior be the savior. Let him be who he is. Because when they get ready to get themselves together, it is not going to be your name that they call. Nope. Is it? Oh, Ain't nobody got Amen. saved in the name of their friend. I feel sorry for them if they tried it. The devil laughed at them for trying it. You said, you, in the name of who? Mm -hmm. I'm almost just sure in the name of their friend. <laughs> you bust out laughing. She just cussed her pillows out the other day. And you talking about in the name of their friend. <laughs> she can't even get past coffee. And you talking about in the name of their friend. He laughing. You better come with some power. You got to use in the name of Jesus. For there is no other name, it says, under heaven whereby man can be saved, except but by the name of Jesus. See? For he was given a name which is above. And at that name, how many knees go by? Every knee. 
How many dogs go for free? Every dog. All right, then I need to say, look, I can't lose me trying to save you. Because if I do, then I'm trying to play God. And I can't be God. God help me. I can't be God. Lord help me. I need